Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another low quality video from me, the funny internet guy. It has been quite a while. Hi. All right. Hey, who are you? Nomadic merchant Bobby. Glider, welcome to my view my wares. Oh, that's a merchant. Um, tell me about this camp. I have no idea what this is about. This is one of many beetle tent stations around Midden. Named after that big old burnt tree over there. Not sure what species an oak is, mind. Well, there's plenty of characters passing through here. They're all worth a bother if you're on your gliding. Never know what badges and ma masks you might pick up. Don't be shy. Chat to the tent owners, interrogate the machinists and any other people you see around. There's also the scrapper's yard just below the big crane over there. There's a lazy scrapper down there who'll make finding scraps worth your time. See you soon. What do you have? Smashing! Have a gander at my goods. A beetle bike booster, a beetle bike front and a beetle bike wings. So I can make my bike look like a beetle? Or do I get this? Is this a beetle bike? It has been so long that I have forgotten what our objective was. He wanted us to go... Q? E. Q. That is somewhere that is somewhere and that is our bike what is this map what are you oh that is my own marker apparently something has stopped the turbine so i should be able to fix the power by removing it a stubborn snag i guess that is this way right bike bike that's what it does hi I could have walked to you. Let's go! Is it you? No. Not you. Bye bye! Are you? No. Stop. What are you? Hello, I'm finally up. Am I finally up? Now I am. Oh! A chum! Hello! You weird thing. Thank you. I know that. Anything else? Great. Has to be, right? Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Stop. Stop. Just relax. Hello, weird plant. Goodbye. Where am I? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, that's the right thing. I thought I'd, I was maybe at the completely wrong place. Hey, how do I get up there? Probably first this side. All right, let's try this. That's useful. Oh, there's a way. You didn't have to climb over it, by the way. Just, just, just saying. <sighs> and nighttime is coming again. The world is losing its color, which makes it even more valuable when the color is there, because you want to appreciate it while it is there, because it will not be there forever. I don't want to be sad. Stop making me sad. Oh, fire! Hi, fire. E. I found a nice place to sit while on the wind tower. I can see all of the eastern dunes from here. Yeah, but how about you sit? You, you, you. Why can you? Oh. I mean, this is crouching and not sitting. Doesn't matter. Oh, can I make that? Can I make that jump? Is a question. I guess that is a no. Or maybe I failed and I should have... Ah, no, that's fine. Maybe I could have just climbed on the side, but it's fine. Many roads lead to Rome or something like that. This, this, tell me this isn't pretty. Tell me this is not beautiful. Um, Yeah, maybe I should go more up. We're almost there. Oh, yeah, something is stuck. It's not really moving. The wind tower. Color. We get color again and sound. Guess I have to go more up. Ooh. I... How do I get up? You go down. You're an elevator. Maybe. Can I climb? That's good. Well then, let's try this. 
Oh, nice. And through here. And up here. I guess? Seems like it. Please make it, make it, make it. Thank you. Hello, turbines. That is weird. Hello, bird. Goodbye. I am up here now. Where do I need to go? This... Wah, that's where I need to go. So, can I just... Yeah, I can. And up. And up. Up is always the answer. Something stuck? No? Maybe here. Oh, disgusting! I got a rock now. And the wind turbine is moving. Did I solve global warming? Oh! It powered the door! Treasure! Now where was this? There it is! Hello door! Hello treasure chest. I could have climbed from the other side in probably. Anyway, what do you have? Machinist top! A standard uniform worn by machinists in Midden. Machinists will always make sure each set has its own unique modifications for their own particular needs. That's cool. I am guessing, if you look like right here, not this, we have three equipment slots. And we need three masks or badges. So for every for every task we do, we get uh, an equipment. So one, one badge is this, one badge is this, and one badge is finally the mask, which we need to cast or something. I don't know. Um, do I want to have the machinist top? No, I don't think so. Oh, I have long hair. Cool. I don't like how this thing is on my right arm, but I am staying with the glider top. I like looking like Superman. And now I bet I gotta go back. Alright. I should back... I should back... Head back to Utari. That's so cool. We're almost back again. And the sun is beginning to rise. The world is beginning to get color again. Colorful again. I just love it how this game is has all those pastel tones. But then once the sun gets here, everything is bright yellow. Bright yet... Yet? <laughs> bright red and stuff like that. Hi. Hey, uh, dude, I forgot your name again. Utari. Hi. Utari greets me warmly. How may I help? Utari's delight is obvious and I see it in my approach. They radiate with energy. You did it! Thank you and well done! Both of you. Did you have much trouble? None at all. Of course not. And why would you? You were meant to do it. Now for your... I won't say reward. Now for what you're owed. Utari produces a machinist badge, holding it out for me to take. Thank you. You may have been late in coming, but here you are where you're meant to be. I give you this badge not only in recognition of where you have been and what you have done, but in honor of one of many possibilities. That you may, if you so choose, become one of us, who speak the unheard language of Simon and her vast connections. This badge is but one, and you will need to earn more. From others who carry them. But if and when you do, the caster will know what you have chosen and you may wear the mask of the machinist. I'm not sure if I like your machine. Your mask. Machinist mask. I thank Utari for it and tell them I have much to consider. But for just a moment, I hear the faintest ringing in my left ear. Distant and deep like a river below the sands. Listen. What may I listen? Utari, do you have anything to say? I can customize my bike. All right, I will do that. I will do that. Let's have a look, shall we? I want... Ooh, red wings. Can I have multiple? Why can I not... Stop! Game, you're buggy. Why can I not color you? You're weird. Where is my... There it is. Two badges. Machinist badge. Yeah. Now what? Do I have to talk to people? I don't like talking to people. Hi. Oh. And who might you be? The mask caster sits unmoving silent. I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else. Probably not human. Probably something else. I've heard about mask casters and stories about glidings before. Gliders should collect three badges of a set and bring them to the caster for whom the mask shall be cast. I should look for some badges. I'll leave the mask caster. That is not a human. 
Because those blue things, the glowy blue stuff, is usually a sign of electronics in this game. Hi, can I become a merchant? Oh, where can I get a mer merchant's badge? Merchants aren't liable to just give out badges freely. Your best bet is there to head to Ecria. There's a big market in town there. Worth trying to Iria's attention if you want to get yourself some merchant's badges. Be careful how you do it, mind. She's not the friendliest customer. See you soon. Okay. And who might you be? The guard before me stands tall, her posture shaped by duty. Uniform weathered by years. Hello there, young glider. Hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I'm nearly startled by the force of her greeting, but her voice is comforting somehow. Warm and welcome. I greet her with the accidental enthusiasm of a traveler finding a friend. She smiles behind the mask. I think. Always nice to meet a fellow adventurer. Especially now. How are you feeling so far? The world is big and I feel very, very small. You say that like it's a bad thing. Isn't it a wonder, the size of it all, that you can spend your whole life wandering and still find more to see? I think about the balled up face fab... Balled up fabric, smoothed out rock that will make my next pillow and many to come. My neck aches faintly at the thought of how many nights I'll spend this way. It's possible I'm romanticizing it a little bit. You see, I'm getting ready to leave on my second gliding. What? She reads the confusion in my silence. Did no one tell me of the second gliding? I suppose it isn't a real second gliding, but it's how I'm thinking about it. A chance to see the world again and how it's changed. I'm an Ecrine guard, you see, or I was an Ecrine guard. As of three days ago, I am officially retired. How old are you? You should have seen the way the others looked at me. There is a laugh in her voice. All of them were so baffled to see me go, telling me how much I'd missed the big city. A few of them even felt sorry for me. Like, what would I do now that my life's purpose is complete? Can you imagine? I tried to, but I can barely muster a view of my purpose's start, let alone its end. I shake my head. I said, thank you for all the strange condolences, but tomorrow marks the first time in decades that I'll wake up in the morning and have absolutely no idea what lies ahead. And I've never been more excited. That's true. Don't get me wrong, I love my work. I even love the noise and the trouble of Ecria, but I've spent enough of my life standing around looking hard. It's time to explore. Her glee is infectious. I ask her, I ask where she'd like to go. I'm heading to the Badlands, I think. I want to see the Bridge of the Betrayed. What the name is that? If you haven't already, you should definitely go and see it yourself. You'll want the Northern Badlands, southwest of here. I nod, trying to keep the directions in mind, and Elizabeth gives me a little tap. Maybe I'll see you up there. So, north. And she's gone. Oh, that's a quest! I should go find Elizabeth at the Bridge of the Bet Betrayed. It's south. But do I get a badge from her? I don't think so. This is weird. What? Hi. What is your face doing? I meet Ifa, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Do you have any tasks in it? What the fuck is your face doing? Why is your mask beetle? Help! Before I can finish the question, Ifa shouts. I would shout too. Larval husks! I repeat the word back to her as clarification. She nods. I need some larval husks. They're... How much do you know about beetles? They're a music group? Uh... What is a beetle? Really? Huh. Bit of a philosopher. I didn't mean that as a joke. She pauses. I'll be honest with you. I don't know how to answer that. But if you wouldn't mind helping him get some larval husk, the dry shell that grows larva egg... Lar... That... La the dry shells that growing larva leave behind, I'd be grateful. The type I'm looking for are Hercules beetles. You won't need to go far, but the nest is guarded by the mother beetle. You're going to have to find a way to get past her. I'll tell her I'll do my best. Anything else I can help you with? I say goodbye. Farewell, glider. Okay, that's another quest. Do we have a main quest? There are no main quests. There are just quests. And our quest is to get more masks. Hey, who are you in there? Is there somebody even in there? Hello? I'm barging in. Hi. No. Hello. Is this a prison? It is a challenge not to view scrappers through quite a romantic lens. As I looked toward my gliding as a child, I pictured myself as a dust-covered traveler, exploring strange forbidden places and finding strange forgotten things. A treasure hunter of old and arcane objects. And though I'm certain the grind of sifting through sand and dirt for useful tools and things left over can wear anyone down, I cannot help but weave some thread of my fantasy into the reality of the work. 
Greetings, Glider. Name's Alton. I give a bow and introduce myself as Sable. You find much scrap metal out there? Um... It's been known to happen. Good, good. Alton leans back and looks up at the ceiling thoughtfully. Got a task for you then, if you're up for it. The hesitation in my voice is a product of gentle intimidation, but I stand up straight and casual enough to seem like I'm up for anything. Alton seems to believe it. Enough. I need scrap sable, and lots of it. And you are there already doing basically nothing. What? Alton chuckles to himself. Okay, that was a joke. Shouldn't say it like that, gliding's odd, eh? If you have nothing to do, so you have everything to do. Wonder if anyone's ever spent their gliding just lying around. I don't think you get badges that way. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as gliding, right? I say it with a smirk that I don't imagine that would count as a gliding, but at the same time I wonder if some people do go out and use the time to simply be with themselves in a safe and reflective space. I don't think being alone in the desert is safe, but whatever. Would it matter as much what mask we choose if we found our purpose deep within? That's a good question. Oh no, should I be doing that? Should I be doing that? Alton clears his throat and I'm grateful to be shaken free. Anyhow, the task. Let's see if you can understand this one, yeah? It's a bit complex. I tell him I'm ready. Probably get scrap and bring it to him. Go out. Find scrap. Bring it to me. How much do you need? I ask Alton how much he might need. How much can you carry? I show him my arms and pockets for scope. <laughs> That's a nice response. Yeah, I need that much. As many times as you can do it. I tell him I'm happy for any reason to explore and that I'll return with everything I find. I say goodbye to Alton. Being a scrapper? Wrong button. Sounds interesting. Definitely. Alright, thank you. Where are we going? Seriously. Oh, and by the way, I have the bug again that my mouse cursor is just gone when I'm in the inventory and stuff. Yeah. I think it is here. Where is the mother beetle? Oh, maybe I need to distract it with those seed pots or whatever. What is this? Hercules beetle nest. Okay. Do I want to be here with my bike? Hello? Do you have anything? Oh, hi. Get? No, stop. Cash. 20 cuts. That's 20. But where would I need? Oh, that is probably the nest. And what is this here? Where am I? Uh, uh, no. Oh, this is the entrance to the nest. I get it. I need to find a way to get past you. Do you attack? No. Nesting giant. That was the achievement for getting into the nest, but I didn't. I just touched it. Hi. Ooh, I want that. I want... Don't tell me. Come on, game. I'm going this way. Thank you. Hi. I'm not breaking the game. But where would I need to go right now? Hello, butterfly. Sunshine butterfly. Great. What is that for? Wait. If that is a beetle mama... Where does this lead? Hi. Oh, that's your camp. There's an old worn out notepad by the tent. Read it. After all my journeying, my path inside the nest is blocked. The Hercules beetle. She blocks the way and refuses to move. I can continue flicking through the scrawl of notes. I am at my wit's end. The creature sleeps and sleeps and will not move. I have tried attacking the beast, but its shell is as hard as metal and she doesn't even acknowledge me. There are further notes. There is an unusual plant that has overgrown the tower across from the nest. I plan to investigate this. The smaller beetles seem attracted to the plant. I find a final scroll on the back of the book. The climb was extremely troubling. If only had I had my old gliding stone still. Nevertheless, I made it. Holding the fruit that grows on a giant plant seems to agitate it and emit a harmless gas of some kind. Beetles seem to gather around it as I do so. I will test my theory with the mother. The note ends. Okay. That is a weird tent. But what is this? Light. Cool. Then I guess we're going to get the plant. So the plant is probably over there. Yeah, that looks like it. Definitely. Uh, hi! 
Hi, Chamek. Can I please skip this? I have seen it four times before. And out. Hi. What? Nothing. You just look weird. And you? You also look weird. Where would I... Probably need to go there. Oh, did I? Yeah, I probably just need to climb up here. Careful. Careful. Oh, no, no, no. Why do you not jump? Okay. Careful, I said. Right? Careful. I can get up here. Right. Now just care. Careful. Shut up. Plant. Give me. What? No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Where did you put it? Please have it. Please have it. Uh-oh. I need another plant. Please be here. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. But before I take you, I want to go all the way up. Hi. Great. No, 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 no. Go just slowly. Can I take it? I got it. And now I need to throw it. Like so. Hey, beetle mommy. Hi. Hi. Hi, hello. Come here. Come this way. No, 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 no. No, 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 don't. Don't. God damn it, how do I get out now? Anyway, I'm inside. And it is sure as hell yucky. Hi. Are you larvae? Hi. I need this. It's just your shell, which you outgrew. I'm not hurting you. Don't. I don't like it. Why did it move? Why is so much beetle stuff in this game? Why? Why do they keep beetles and all? Hi. Sorry. And please let me get out to the through the top or something. Oh, that is sad. You got closed in here. Why are there so many bones? Thank you. Ooh, I see something which I like. And it rhymes with measure. It's a treasure. 20! Why did I even come here? 20 cuts are nothing compared to the 100 that I got in the mask caster face thing. Hi, what are you? Can I have you? You're a stone. I'm no otter, so I'm not taking you with me. Where do I need to go? That way. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. Where's my bike coming from? I just called it on the hill there and I don't think it can float hills. There it is! Yo! My dude! Hey weird weird bug lady! I'm I'm back. I'm not calling you weird where am I? I'm not calling you weird because you got bugs, because I also keep ants, which are bugs, but it's just a nice nickname. No, you're a weird bug lady, I'm sorry. Greetings, Glider. What can I do for you? I have the lava husk you asked for. Eva started clapping the moment I caught her eye. Ah, you got him. Hope old mother beetle didn't give you too much trouble. I handed the husks, lighter than air, but strong as steel, and she slides them away in a cloth bag. He's really come in handy. Thank you. Beetle badge. Can I become a beetle? Like, I don't want to become a beetle, but what are you? Are you a job? A beetle keeper? Actually, there's more. one more thing you could do for me. Can you take these asks to Acria and deliver them to Ayen? I, 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 Ayen? In the chime maker's workshop. Anything else I can help you with? Goodbye. Farewell, Glider. I didn't know that I could get this mask, because it... Maybe the innkeepers are... Oh, maybe this is a giant shell. So those... This is a nice, interesting idea of a sleeping mat. No, is, is it a way? 
I'm not sure. Um, they're probably innkeepers that live in giant... Or not live, they use beetles. Or they care for beetles and stuff. And you can become a beetle tender keeper. You tend to beetles. Whatever. Hi. Okay. Um, I got a bucket. Yeet. Anyway, maybe those beetles can do something. What do you have floating up? This game is so weird. By the way, we got a lot of money, so... Hi. I would like to trade with you. I want the beetle customizations. Thank you. I find it so interesting that you can probably become almost everybody you, you speak with. What is that blue thing there? Because you speak with a merchant, they say, hey, go to the mer market. You can get a merchant mask. And the beetle keeper sends me to do stuff with a beetle. Hi, Dusk Firefly. Now I wonder if I can customize. I hope to customize my bike, please. Please let me customize my bike. Yeah. Do this in red. Why does the color never change? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, max speed. This has better acceleration and handling. Yeah, let's try that. Sure. So now it is very slow. Oh, it's disgusting. I hate it. Ooh, I hate it. I hate you so much. Oh, that's disgusting. Um. Yeah, it is a little bit slower, but that's all. I don't want that. Firstly, it looks disgusting. Secondly, I want my speed because when I'm driving long distances, I don't care about handling. By the way, how do I ever use the colors? That's weird. Yeah, but that speed is better. All right, where can we go? E, Dumbledore. I mean the Dunboyne. Southeast, the Wind Tower. Chums is scrawled across this sign. This is something I've read before in the other sign. So maybe a whole lot of Southwest, there is something where I can get or put the Chums, which are these egg thingies. And to the West is Ecria. Which this is, I think, a good point to end the episode on. Because we have two new quests, I think, to go to Ecria, or one quest for Ecria, and a hint that we can get more quests in Ecria. But before we go to Ecria, we will probably check out her on the bridge, on the, the guard that told us to meet them there. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it has been not a lot happening, because I had, frankly, I don't have all that much time to record and cut it down again. Anyway, yeah. Until we see each other next time in the dunes. I didn't know I could slide. Take care and bye-bye.